ETH Denver 2 Bunny 23 ran a profit, while members of its DAO get some of the returns. After ending this year's edition well in the black, Colorado Cooperative Spork DAO LCA may now vote to send distributions to token holders. Denver, the organizers of this year's ETH Denver have a good problem to tackle now that the world's biggest Ethereum conference has wrapped what to do with its first modest profit. For the first time in its history, Spork DAO LCA Limited Cooperative Association, the Colorado collective that owns ETH Denver LLC and a handful of other Ethereum-focused entities, made enough surplus cash from its flagship conference that it might even return some of the money to members of the decentralized autonomous organization DAO. In an interview conference chief John Pollard told, Coindesk the back of the napkin math indicated ETH Denver 2023 is around to $500,000 to $1 million in the black. That's no small feat given this year's edition was the largest, most expensive production in ETH Denver's six-year history and one that happened during the throes of a bear market. The surprising surplus means that Spork DAO's members' conference attendees, sponsors, speakers, and volunteers who opted into joining this decentralized autonomous organization and receiving its dollar Spork tokens when they secured their tickets could receive a slice of Spork DAO's nine-person board decides to do a distribution, Pollard said. In the past, ETH Denver was profitable, but only to the extent that we had enough runway to get to the next event, Pollard said. The organization's board now has the right governance in place to manage the money, either paying it out to dollar Spork holding members or reinvesting it into future conferences, he said. Crypto conferences are multi-million dollar affairs that pump revenue and name recognition into the dozens of organizations that stage them annually. Nearly all of them are managed by centralized entities, crypto protocols, media companies, investment firms and others. ETH Denver, which this year attracted 20,000 people, is the only one of its size owned by a DAO. After losing $700,000 in last year's far smaller edition, ETH Denver's unpaid nine-person board retooled their planning for this event, board member Danny Osorio said. That included hiring a chief operating officer and skeleton staff who could manage planning and raise sponsorship dollars year-round. It worked. Getting cash from top sponsors is critical for staging an event that's free for the vast majority of attendees. As long as you're a member of Spork DAO you opt into membership when claiming a ticket and have to renew once a year, your attendance is on the house. You can attend ETH Denver without being a member, but you have to pay $599, Pollard said. Some companies took this option rather than having to think about what it would mean to join a DAO, DAO or something else. Spork DAO LCA isn't technically a DAO, though there's not really a set-in-stone rule defining what is and isn't this anti-centralization form of distributed governance. Still, the ethos of a DAO is a community-owned and governed organization, and for now Pollard said Colorado's cooperative. Laws provide the closest legal fit for Spork DAO to eat its own dog food as it moves more and more power to the community. We call it a digital co-op, Pollar said. We do call it an event DAO if we want to pander to the Web3 folks just so they understand. Because Web3 people like it. They like DAO, but nobody else gets it. You have to kind of be able to speak to both. DAO or not, the organization does have a crypto token that could be poised to accrue value for its owners who belong to Spork DAO. Spork is an incentives token that provides potential exposure to the rewards of all Spork DAO endeavors, including the conference and also bets made by the collective's early stage startup incubator, Bufficorn Ventures. Wholly owned by Spork DAO LCA, Bufficorn Ventures writes small checks to really, really early crypto companies to help them get going, Pollard said. Bufficorn has easy access to this pre-seed landscape given its proximity to ETH Denver's builder community, hackathons and speakers, some of which have become rocketing successes after attending the conference. The future returns of Bufficorn Ventures' investments could also be distributed to patrons, Pollard said. Obviously, not all of them are going to be successful, Pollard said of the startups into which Bufficorn plans to invest. But when they are successful, the people holding Spork tokens become benefactors of that. So if I'm a sponsor who put 30 grand into ETH Denver and I get a bunch of Spork tokens back for that patronage now I kind of look at it as an investment.